So this is Point Concepcion Pinot Noir 2012 from Santa Barbara. So this is a wine, um, Santa Barbara, of course, Central Coast, California. I was out there recently and met with the owner of this winery, uh, Peter Cargasacci. He's also a vineyard owner. Um, his vineyard, the Cargasacci Vineyard, is up in the, uh, the Santa Rita Hills. He makes this wine with, gra with grapes that he sources from other vineyards in the area. And he calls this point Concepcion because that's a very significant geographical um, feature to this area and to Central Coast grape farming. Um, it's the point in California where the state sort of turns inward. And so what you have is uh, the, the frigid Arctic waters that come down the coast and then the, the warm waters that come up from the, from the south sort of meet there. And you have a big sort of swirling effect and you have these ocean breezes that blow in. And ultimately what happens is this beautiful Santa Barbara coast, which is sun-drenched and would, would naturally be very, very hot, suddenly gets this incredible cooling effect from all these ocean breezes. And so Pinot Noir just does beautifully there because it needs the, that cooling to balance the ripening. Um, you get the beautiful sunshine and you get the ocean breezes, so you have a slow uh, ripening season. The grapes develop complex flavors that maintain their good acidity. Um, and so that's the reason that these uh, Santa Barbara Pinots are so good. And this one is uh, <laughs> very typical. Um, they age it in French oak, entirely in French oak barrels, um, just to give it that extra added complexity. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice color. They do whole berry fermentation, all temperature controlled. And it has beautiful sort of strawberry, black cherry nose. You get some of that sort of uh, vanilla spice. Um, you know, maybe even like uh, sassafras. The oak aging. Mm. Berries and spice. Let's taste it. This is really tasty. Black cherries lingering on my palate, and I get this really nice spicy notes, this brown spices. Um, it has kind of a richness to it. You know, the 2012 vintage was a really, really um, successful vintage, so you did get a lot of sunshine and a lot of ripeness, and some of that comes through. It's kind of rich, broader on the palate than it might ordinarily be, but there's that really nice acidity that lifts it keeps it lively um, and makes it great with food. You know, this is a, a really food-friendly Pinot with tremendous fruit. Happy drinking.